it is good advice. I mean, even, even Amelia who runs faster with me. Now we use so much AI across like this logo, right? I mean, we have our designer here. Who's one of the best I've ever worked with, but this was done by AI. Almost all of the drafts of this were done by AI. Our videos are done in this app called Higgsfield, right? Um, the scripts AI does our podcast now. And so now we do a lot more podcasts and they're a lot better, right? There's so many AI writes like this session that we just did here. These will all get written up really well by our AI and they'll be much better than a human. So like make sure everyone on your team is spending hours a day. Again, not just a recipe in Claude. And I don't know if that's helpful, but it, it's the best I could do for today. But thank, thank you. you. You said yesterday that, that there are all these hundred million revenue companies that have suddenly hit a wall. They're growing oh, to 20%. Hundreds. And hundreds. Well, AI is maiming them. Yep. So can you dimension that maiming a little more? Is it more competitors moving faster? Yes. Is it internal build? Yes. Versus build versus buy? Or is it the internal development process speeding Why up? Why are they all and, slow down? Yeah. What's, what's driving this contact? What's the third? So it's probably there? compounding effects. First of all, one of the biggest, there's probably, there's probably two issues. Not, the first two have, there's probably a bunch, but the first two have nothing to do with AI. One is too many didn't go multi-product. If you listen to Tope, I don't know if you were with Tope for Calendly, he's not telling you what's coming this year, but when you heard him say multi-product, they're well over 200 million. I don't know where they are. I don't know if they're past 300, but they're well over 200 million. Multi-product is the game. Okay. 